The UB College of Arts and Sciences is reaching out to alumni across the country with a signature series called Scholars on the Road. Prominent faculty members travel to host cities to share their latest research that's both innovative and thought-provoking. One of the things we heard from alumni was the desire to get engaged somehow with the intellectual atmosphere of what's going on in the college and the university. What we know about climate change stems from a couple of decades of observations. I've been doing studies in Alaska, Antarctic Canada, Greenland, over to Norway. So a lot of my research findings are published in academic journals that really aren't at the fingertips or accessible to a lot of people, including our alumni or the general public. And so uh, being part of this lecture series is important for me because it gives me a chance to tell a general audience what it is we're finding. These are very interesting to me and, and to my wife. We think these are great opportunities to, to learn and continue to learn in life. And that's what UB brought to me was great education. The series presents college professors who are leading experts in their fields. They span a wide range of disciplines from the arts to the humanities and the social sciences. We can bring all of that expertise out. Uh, to our alums, letting them know what the latest scholarship is, how people nowadays are thinking about ideas and maybe challenging notions that they have themselves that they formed when they were in college. We did Raising the Sun. It was really wonderful to, to get to go to uh, Sardis and see a group of alumni. And this particular time, because the President and First Lady had visited our, our show and had come and spent intermission with us, and so I was able to share with them how exciting that was. It really gives me an opportunity to step outside my inner circle and, and meet other alums in the area and continue to build my, my connections and my network. One of the largest genetic screening programs in the United States is through the NCAA. The policy was implemented in 2010. And what it requires is that every Division I student athlete be screened for sickle cell trait. You have to think about discrimination here because this is linked to particular races in this country. I think each one of us has an idea of what this topic is and how ethical or unethical it could be and everybody brings a different set of experiences and thoughts to it. The fine scholars we have at UB are the university's greatest resource. And I also think it's a point of pride for alumni to see scholars come, talk about a subject that is of vital importance. All these different areas where UB faculty are making a big difference in people's lives. It's wonderful to see how much it means to them that you would take the time to meet with them on the road. Join us when the next UB scholar visits your city.